Hello everyone, Carolina Venom here. Today I'm doing a review on the ZTE Radiant uh, by AT&T. This phone is through their GoPhone service. Um, and I gotta, I'm going to set out the route the bat. It's a really nice phone. Uh, I do not currently have it activated right now. Um, but I will go through some of the speed tests that I have um, had while it was activated. And but first of all, let's go through the um, basics of the phone. Uh, it's got a nice four-inch display, uh, 800 by 400, uh, 400 to 480, one or the other. I always get them mixed up. Um, I know people today like the you no know, the five-inch screen, six-inch screens, but personally, to me, if I wanted to carry around, carry around a tablet, you know, in my back pocket, then you know, I just buy a tablet. But me for a phone that I can you know it's nice size to me four to four point five inch displays to me are perfect but I, like I said it's just my own personal opinion uh, you got your back button home button and setting button down here on the side you have your micro USB charging port on top your power button 3.5 millimeter headset jack on this side here you got your volume rocker and your uh, micro SD card slot on the back. The battery is removable. Uh, the back is kind of a pain to remove, especially one-handed. So I'm going to leave the battery cover on here. But the battery is nice. Not really sure the milliamp hour battery, but it um, it's a nice battery. Got your speaker here. Your five megapixel camera with 720 recording. Um, your flash. And this here is either a noise cancellation or it is a speaker for your camcorder. Not really sure, but it's one or the other. Um, screen is nice, though. I do, I do like I like the screen. Uh, speed test. Um, I live on the outskirts of service. Um, I get good AT&T service. I got three bars of service here and really don't have any issues. There's times that it goes down to one, one bar. And with the GSM network, you can tell the difference between the call quality in full service and one two bars of service. That's the thing about a GSM I hate. Um, but, you know, it's not bad. I believe they really improved as far as um, a company. Um, calls really 4G's everywhere in my area. But I live on right, right, right outside the 4G coverage area because I live down in the woods. And I mean 4G. Um, I live just right outside the 4G network, but I can always pull 4G service. And even with very little 4G service, I can get between five and six megabits per second download, and about 0 .50, 0 .60 megabits per second upload. Uh, if I'm up in town where I have full 4G service and full service, I can get between 10 and 11 megabits per second download and about one and a half megabits per second upload. So uh, really not that bad. This is not this is a 4G phone. It's not an LTE phone. Um, but I know LTE phones they really boost up their um, internet speed uh, by about double, if not more. But I think 10 to 11 is really not bad. Um, even down here where I live at, um, I am pulling more megabits per second download than my actual internet speed is at my house. So, you know, that's, per that's pretty pathetic that, you know, even on the outskirts of 4G, I can pull better uh, data service than my actual internet. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, we're going to go into the camera here. I'm going to show you some of the camera features, some of the main features. Um, got your grid, share tone, uh, picture size is 5 megapixel, of course, timer on or off, uh, 3, 5, and 10 second timer, picture quality is fine, super fine or normal, got your image, which you can set your own image to whatever you want it to be, like, you know, brightness and exposure and all that good stuff, um, your white balance, ISO, review time, geotag, anti-band, restore defaults so over here. Um, you have your normal panorama shot and rapid cap rapid capture. Down here you have your um, color mode, which is regular, 
black and white or mono, uh, sepia or negative, and then you get your flash auto off or on always. Switch to camcorder mode here. Records in 720p, 480p, VGA or MMS video time lapse from one, one and a half to two and a half down to ten seconds. Uh, white balance, geotag, and restore defaults. And you're also able to record with your um, this, with a light on. So that's that's pretty neat to have too. Um, this uh, phone has got a 1.4 uh, dual core, 1.4 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor, if I ain't mistaken. I know it's 1.4 dual core, but I'm not really sure if it's S4 Snapdragon or not. But uh, I think I'm I think I'm pretty correct on that. Uh, it's got four gigabytes of internal memory with two gigabytes available to user and one gigabyte of RAM. This is pushing Android 4.1.2. I'm not really sure if it's gonna get anything higher than that or not. Uh, like I said, I've not really ha seen much about this phone on the internet. I have tried looking it up and I've not really seen much about it. But um, So I pretty much just bought it on a whim. And it's a very nice phone. Uh, camera takes decent pictures. It, it does have autofocus. But I've not really been too crazy about ZTE's cameras, but they're not that bad for just a, an ordinary, you know, taking a picture here and there. Video quality is also good as well. Uh, audio quality is good. Call quality is good. I uh, have no issues with call quality. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run a benchmark test on this, on this uh, phone to give you kind of an idea of uh, the speed. I've then done it one time, but I will do it again. Uh, battery life is good on this phone. I can usually get between a day, day and a half. Depends on how much I use it. Of course, the more you use it, the more your battery is going to drain. Uh, I think a lot of it. Um, I think it's between a 1700 milliamp hour and a 2000. I'm not really sure. I don't want to tell you something that's not right. Um, and I really did get mixed up a while ago on my on the processor. <laughs> it is a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor with a snapdragon I think it's an S4 processor so it is pretty snappy it is pretty fast there really is no lag to, to this phone whatsoever it runs really flawlessly really it has no issues whatsoever I think it's just a really nice phone for for ZTE I think it's really nice so you know just just my opinion oh you gotta be kidding Network connection failed. I try it one more time. I don't do any editing anymore, so it might take a little bit longer, but at least we'll you know get it done. Um, but like I've I've, I've I've always heard, don't ever buy a ZTE phone; they're no count. But honestly, I think this is a really good uh, phone. Um, I mean, to me, I can I think it's better than some LGs I've had. I've had some LGs. Not really ever been satisfied with the LG phone. Just never really have been. Um, my, probably my favorite um, name brand for a cell phone would probably be HTC uh, or Samsung. But HTC is probably my top. Uh, but, you know, if the phone works well, I figured, you know, I don't really care what name it is. So let's try and do it again and see what happens. Yes. Okay, my device right now is 5268. Now, when I checked it 15 minutes ago, it was pushing around 5800. So it does fluctuate. Um, right now it's at 5268. Uh, earlier, it has been as high as 6000. Uh, so, you know, it does fluctuate, but still not a bad speed. Um, it like I said, it does run fl flawlessly. There's really no lag in it whatsoever. It only has three um, home screens, which is kind of crazy. But you know, like I said, it's very fast. Has really no lag in it whatsoever. 
um, it's just a really nice speedy phone. So anyway, like I said, if you want a nice phone, uh, this is ZTE Radiant from AT&T. You know, if you're looking for a nice prepaid phone for a nice price, you know, I would definitely pick it up. I think it's a nice phone. has no issues. I've not had any issues with powering off, freezing up, or anything. It does take a micro SIM card instead of a full-size SIM card. Um, but, you know, I think it's a really nice phone. Uh, bottom line, uh, well, actually, also, the phone is very slippery. It feels rubbery in the back, but it's very slick, and it's able to just slide right out of your hand. Um, but bottom line, a good phone. Um, cheap phone between eighty and a hundred dollars, and I mean, as honest as I can be, this is a good phone. It's not going to compare to some of these high-end HTC ones or, um, you know. Galaxy S4s and all that good stuff, but you know, for a cheap phone from ZTE, this is a nice phone. I highly recommend this phone. Uh, no issues. Um, if, if there's any questions that you want to ask me about the phone, it'll probably be easier for me to um, answer questions about it than talking about it. Uh, but. Um, leave me comments i'll comment back uh subscribe to my channel i sure would appreciate it uh more reviews to come uh i probably i will probably be doing a video test with this um phone as well as the zte all uh also so um stay tuned for that um i'm gonna go y'all have a good one i'll catch you later